Hello everyone. My interest in feminism started when I was an early teenager. Books about feminism caught my interest and widened my perspective to what gender issues are out there in the world and what was the problem within my country. I've Gender oppression is very much embedded in Thai culture and in what I was taught in Thai society while I was growing up. I felt something was off, but I couldn't put it into words until my perspective was broadened beyond what was given in the Thai culture. I started to notice how Thai women around me are silently treated by male nomination and how Thai women are being objectified negatively from the outsider. From then on, my radar started to operate and notice patriarchy in every environment I encounter. I first felt objectifying when I went to London for my studies. On the second night of my arrival, I was on my way home, waiting at the bus stop at night in a wealthy area. A man in a suit came up to me and grabbed his arm around me. Immediately, I gave him a dirty look. He then realized I was not a prostitute. I got on a bus to another bus stop, and as I was waiting, there was a, another man came up to me and wrapped his arm around me again. This happened to me twice within an hour, and this incident really opened my eyes on how strongly this particular objectification has towards Thai women or Asian-looking women globally. Then I moved to the flat next to my studio in Southeast London. I have heard about street harassment, and I got some catcalling sometimes when I walk on the street, but it did not make, give me big fear or became a trauma until it happened to my everyday route, walking from home to the studio. Within the short five minutes of walking, I got more than three cat calls and sexist street harassment every day for almost a month, happening constantly in my own neighborhood. This instilled fear in my everyday life. The nasty voice of the 50 men haunted me all the time. When I was walking, Every step I was walking and hearing their voices behind my back, I always wanted to shout and curse them back out of my anger, but I couldn't because I had to use the street every day. And by doing that, I might become their main target and that wouldn't be a good idea. I had to suppress it and live with it. When I told my boyfriend, about this incident, which was then became my fear. He told me, why don't you wear a hoodie? That was when I realized the level of understanding between victims and non-victims. After the latter discussion, he, he told me he didn't realize how prevalent this is for many women in society. That was when I told myself that I need to do something about it. I started researching on female objectification, analyzed how media portrays women. The media sent out the message that girls need to be pretty, not powerful, noticed, not respected. And this is incredibly harmful, not just to a girl and to her development, but to our culture at large. This be became my artwork. Tales of Eyes, in which I aim to shift the gaze and the personal narrative away from the focus of victimization. In my artwork, I was wearing a high visibility yellow lace hoodie. The yellow fluorescent is the same color as a safety jacket people wear around London. The lace was semi-transparent effect, so you could see some parts of my body. It was made from a light type of cloth fabric, often associated with stereotypical female domestic duties. The tablecloth usually means to look nice and clean. We wear curtain used to hide what is inside. The garment scream ambiguously, look at me, but don't you look at me. The high waist is a statement to be noticed on the street as in the aspect of safety. 
but the, as the, but the see-through aspect makes people feel uncomfortable. It gives my situation a sense of power. I give myself power back. I take my objectification of others and present them back with something they don't feel comfortable or expect. It feels like I'm testing myself, my own personal values, being brave against just ex accepting the norm. The same nakedness in the work can be mistaken as problematic. Some feminists claim that the nakedness was against feminism, that I shouldn't reveal myself or sexualize the work. But my intention is to express the attitude of, you may be able to see, but you cannot get. Therefore, I choose not to do, not, I choose not to create any performance art experimenting my own body with the audience in order to convey my point and control the perceived surrounded power. I have been making work on the male gaze, of which proceeds to into invading personal space, in this case, street harassment. In this artwork, I try, I try to translate the feelings of the nights I had to wear a hoodie acting like a boy walking back from the studio. No matter how manly I dress or walk, inside that shell, I still have the female body. This was the work that I had to bear out and overcome my vulnerabilities the most. During the process, I didn't see myself as victim, but rather tried to analyze my fear and overcome it. When I was exhibiting this work at Goldsmith's MFA Fine Art degree show in London last year, most women came to talk to me about their experience. This shows how one person's own narrative links to another person's own narrative. Whether the subjects of experience is similar or not, we feel for each other because we have been in a similar situation of unfairness and discomfort. Until it happens to me is what I believe a collective circumstance that us girls have in common and comfort each other. I want for girls in Thailand and everywhere in the world to have the right to feel safe. Recalling my own experience, I do not want any girl or young woman to be in my shoes. My hope is that one day, women around the world our daughters, nieces, friends will be able to walk down the street without feeling worried about being harassed verbally, physically, and sexually. Thank you.